Ida Husted was born on February 18, 1851, in Franklin County, Indiana. She and her husband, Thomas Harper, made their home in Terre Haute, where he was an attorney. Ida began writing a column called A Woman's Thoughts for the Terre Haute Saturday Evening Mail, and Thomas did not approve. Thomas was active in local politics and introduced Ida to an up-and-coming politician and labor leader, Eugene V. Debs. As editor of the Locomotive Fireman's Magazine, Debs hired Ida to write a column for women. In 1878, Eugene Debs invited Susan B. Anthony to Terre Haute for a speaking engagement, and Ida Husted Harper was able to meet the great suffragette. It was the beginning of a friendship that would last the rest of their lives. By 1891, Ida divorced her husband and moved to Indianapolis to be close to her daughter while she attended high school. She continued to write and became an editor for the Indianapolis News. She contributed to the paper for much of her career. After moving to California to be near her daughter while she attended Stanford, Ida organized press relations for the National American Woman Suffrage Association. In 1897, Susan B. Anthony asked Ida Husted to live with her in New York City so that she could organize her papers and write her biography, a three-volume set. Ida Husted Harper also co-authored a comprehensive six-volume, 5,700-page document about the women's movement. Ida Husted Harper joined Susan B. Anthony as she toured around the country and abroad, giving lectures and leading rallies. Ida continued her work as a journalist, writing for dozens of papers and as a syndicated columnist. Her Votes for Women column in Harper's Bazaar made her a household name. Her writing and her publicity work with the National American Woman Suffrage Association informed the public and legislators about the movement and helped lead to the passing of the 19th Amendment in 1920. She wrote, the moment we accept the theory that women must enter wage-earning occupations only when compelled to do so by poverty, that moment we degrade labor and lower the status of all women who are engaged in it. Ida Husted Harper. Headstrong is made possible through the generous support of PNC Bank and a grant from American Experience.